cool. Listen, this guy, John Wall, is looking like Dwayne Wade in his prime. This guy, John Wall, in that third quarter, oh my freaking goodness. I didn't know. It felt like. We rewinded, we rewinded time. That's a little tongue twister. It felt like we rewinded time back to 2008, 2009, to Dwayne Wade in his prime, to Melo in his prime, to LeBron James in his early prime, to Kobe in his prime. That's what it felt like watching John Wall in that third quarter. 15 points in the third quarter, five assists in the third quarter. This, oh my, listen. And before anyone says, Steve, Steve, you use this gameplay before. Listen, guys. I just ran out of gameplay. I'm not going to go play anymore today. Tomorrow I will after class, though, when there's no playoffs on. But all day today, all I'm doing is laying in bed and watching the NBA playoffs. That's all I'm going to do. But the way this guy is impacting the game, it, like defensively, he's passing the ball, creating plays, he's scoring. Uh, there was a stretch where this guy had like 10 straight points and four straight assists. I mean, when you talk about, like, the best of the best point guards, people always bring up Stephen Curry, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Chris Paul, okay? But what separates Chris Paul from all three of those players is his defense. Chris Paul is one of the best defensive guards ever, okay? And when I look at John Wall, he's 6'4", he plays the point guard position, I see a hybrid between Dwayne Wade LeBron James and Chris Paul, it's it's really ridiculous. He, he's blocking shots from behind. He's stripping people. He's he's dunking on people. He's getting and one. Did you see that and one that he had on Dennis Schroeder? And then Dennis Schroeder came back with the layup. Then John Wall came back with the three. And then Dennis Schroeder came back with the three. Oh, my God. I didn't think this series would be that exciting. But if John Wall can continue to play like this, oh, my goodness, it's over. Now, the one thing that's concerning me about the Washington Wizards their bench is awful. When he gets off the floor, this team just falls apart. Brandon Jennings is just a disaster. He plays too reckless. I mean, I've been saying that for, let me see. Hmm. 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 Almost nine months now with the New York Knicks. But now that it's prevalent that he's still a disaster on another team, I mean, come on, man. He's fouling people. Like that one, he let Dennis Schroeder get in front of him, uh, then get by him, and then he pushes him from behind for a layup. Like that's stupidity. The stupidity, and that's why they had to put John Wall back in the game. Regardless, though, the, he, look, I know I've said this about a lot of players, but when I see John Wall play like this, actually, I haven't said this about a lot of players. I meant to say I've never said this before. When I see John Wall play like that, he reminds me of a prime Dwayne Wade. You know, he has the athleticism. He's not as good. You know, that, that's clear and evident. But he can impact the game in every single aspect, just like D-Wade did at the same height, okay, in the same weight with his passing ability. He had, like, what, three back-to-back -back lobs with Marquise Morris? I mean, it's ridiculous. He's hitting three-pointers. He's shooting efficient from the field. He has a double-double, 30-plus points. You know, what did he have, 15 assists? I mean, I, just, I can't fathom this guy, man. It's ridiculous. In that third quarter, literally— if he weren't in the game in that third quarter, the Washington Wizards would probably be down by 10 plus points. But since he was in that game, he carried that team so much on his back. You know, it's I, I, words just can't explain how good he is. The only thing about Washington, and I said this again before and I'll say it again, their bench is disgusting. It's it's and that just shows how good John Wall their core is, like their John Wall, Bradley Beal, like they're possibly most actually, I would say they're the second best backcourt in the NBA, right after Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. Now, John Wall, you, he he belongs in that elite territory with Curry, Russ, James, CP3. He belongs in that territory. No more debating. Oh, he's not that good. No, no, no more of that shit. He be excuse me for cursing. He belongs in that territory. And watching that game, I've seen him play before. I've seen highlights of when he goes off but i've never seen him play with that much confidence he was literally waving his arms to the crowd telling them to come on and cheer man and another thing is the story behind it that he's been with washington his entire career he never left even when they were garbage now that they're top seed he's still there it's just phenomenal man john wall's a beast man i'm out peace